Hi, welcome to Being Beta. Well, today we're going to do something a little different. Now, this channel is all about having a go yourself to get that real sense of satisfaction and hopefully doing something a bit more uh, cheaper as well. Um, so it's normally focused on DIY type stuff, but today we're going to do it a little bit different and have a go at cooking. It's something I'm terrible at, but I'm lucky that I have another half who's really, really good at it. So I thought I would share with you some quick and easy uh, do-it-yourself lovely dishes and snacks. And this is the first one in the series. Enjoy the flapjacks. Okay, so in terms of equipment and ingredients you're gonna need, uh, if you wanna fill a tin about this size, you're gonna need um, about 250 grams or eight ounces of porridge oats, 125 grams, which is four ounces of butter, 60 grams or two ounces of demerara sugar, and then some golden syrup as well, and you need about three tablespoons of that. Again, if you wanna spice it up beyond uh, butter flapjacks, to chocolate chips or maple syrup or whatever it is that takes your fancy and you can add those extra ingredients in as well. You're gonna need your baking tin, some non-stick baking paper for the tin, a saucepan, a spoon, and then a measuring spoon as well. Okay, so the oven is now preheating at a 170 uh, for a fan oven. It's a bit more, it's 180 for a non-fan or gas mark four. And now we've put in the syrup, the sugar, and the butter in the saucepan on a low heat and just need to keep stirring. So once it's all melted, then you take the pan off of the heat, turn that off, and now I'm gonna pour the oats in. So the next thing I've done, I've just thoroughly mixed it all together now, and now I'm gonna pour it out into the baking tin with the non-stick baking paper in place. Okay, so I've poured the mixture out and now it's just a case of using the back of the spoon just to press the mixture right the way into the corners and get it nice and level. So it's all level, nice and flat and into the corners. I'm now gonna pop it in the uh, preheated oven and you can either bake it for about 15 minutes if you prefer your flapjack a little bit softer. If you want it a bit more crispier, then go for about 20 minutes. The thing to remember is even once you take it out of the oven, it will still continue taking a little while to cool down and it will continue cooking. Happy days. So I've taken it out of the oven after the 15 minutes. It's a nice little golden brown color now. I'm just gonna leave it to stand for a few minutes to let it cool off and then slice it. I found in the past, if you slice it before you let it cool, it can still be quite sticky and it can stick to the knife. So just gonna leave it a little while and then slice it up. Yes, get in. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to help other beaters out there too.